title forming algebraic expressions and we're going to be looking at how to form expressions from given information okay before we can write out expressions it's important we understand basic collecting like terms okay for example if I had x add x I write that as 2x okay if I had 2x add 3x I write that as 5x if I have 5x take away 2x I write that as 3x and if I have 2 times z I write that as 2z and if I have r times y times z I write that as r y z okay there's an invisible multiplication sign in between the r and y and the r and z okay okay so suppose John has a packet of biscuits and he doesn't know how many biscuits are inside okay so he doesn't know how many are inside let's call the number of biscuits B okay so I'm giving the number of biscuits inside the packet a letter okay because I don't know what that is it's unknown okay if he opens the packet and he eats four biscuits he can write an expression for the number of biscuits remaining in the packet okay now again we're not trying to solve how many biscuits are in the packet we just want to write an expression all right because he's eaten four so we labeled it B so the letter B represents all the biscuits inside the packet okay he ate four so take away four my final expression B take away four okay so we write out an expression for this information so packet of biscuits he eats four the expression is B minus four that is your answer okay carrying on with forming algebraic expressions let's look at these questions here okay so I need to form expressions I'm not trying to work out what the letters are what number represents the letter I just want to form expressions so seven more than G okay so I know I've got this letter G okay I don't know how much that is but this is telling me seven more than G so to write an expression for that I would write G plus seven okay seven more than G as an expression is G plus seven okay eight less than U okay again I've got this amount which is called U all right and I need to write an expression for eight less than that so U take away eight okay eight less than u u take away eight okay eight multiplied by x okay now this is a lot simpler all right eight times x as we looked at in a previous slide if you have eight times x you write it as eight x okay h shared between seven now normal operations are addition subtraction multiplication and division but they can be worded differently for example more than it meant add less than it meant take away subtract uh, so shared between so let's say I have some sweets that I want to share between people okay so I've got 20 sweets I want to share it between five people okay what am I doing I am dividing okay so shared between is another word for divide h shared between seven as an expression i write h divided by seven okay moving on okay apples cost a pence each bananas cost b pence each write down an expression for the total cost in pencil of three apples and five bananas okay uh, where it says in pencil i think it means in pence okay so in pence write down the total cost now we don't know how much one apple costs or one banana costs we just know that an apple costs a pence and a banana costs b pence okay so if I was to buy three apples I need to buy three times apples okay apples cost a pence so in other words that's three times a which is three a okay if I want to buy five bananas I need to do five times bananas okay 
So that's basically 5 times B, which is what we've labeled for bananas. So that is 5B. Now, if I'm buying two separate things, again, you're dealing with money here. Okay, if I'm buying two separate things, you work out the cost for both of them, and then you add them together. Okay, so my expression for the total cost of three apples and five bananas would be 3A add 5B. That is my final answer. I am not trying to work out what A represents. I am not trying to work out what B represents. I am forming an expression that would work that out. If I was to know how much apples cost and how much bananas cost, I can easily work out using this expression how much three apples and five bananas would cost. Okay, I now want you to have a go at these questions on your own. Once you are done, take a picture and upload it onto Clash Charts. Okay, you may rewind this video to help you if you get stuck.